Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome to Bible Time with Natalie. Today, it looks a little bit different because you can't see me. But I figured that'd be the best way for this object lesson to work because right now, you see my bowl of water. Uh, but hang on just a second. All right, to my bowl of water, I've added two oranges. Now, you're probably thinking, Natalie, what did two oranges have to do with anything? Well, don't worry, because today's scripture comes from the book of Ephesians chapter 6, where Paul talks about the armor of God. Now, the two oranges in our bowl, you could say represent two different people, maybe. Um, and I'm going to show you what happens when one person chooses to put on the armor of God. Because right now, you see, both of my oranges are floating. They are standing firm. They're both still have their peel on. They're able to float. But what happens if they start taking off their armor? So this first orange, let's say he decided he wasn't going to read his Bible today. And maybe he decided that he was going to listen to some bad influences. Maybe he forgot to pray. Pretty soon, if he keeps doing that every day, his armor, oh, I'm throwing armor in the water. Now he's, he doesn't have any armor on. And because he doesn't have his armor on, you can see he's sinking. When we wear the armor of God, we're able to stand strong when the devil throws temptation at us and tries to make us do things that we know we shouldn't do. But if we don't have the armor on, just like our, um, our peeled orange, we sink. This week, as you go about your week, make sure you're putting on the armor of God, praying for the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, and all the other parts that we've talked about. And as always, remember, you are called, chosen, and loved. Peace out. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for sticking around. Now, usually you know we share a joke, but today looks a little bit different. Maybe you noticed some changes to the today's format, like we didn't read the scripture. Like I've said before, we're always trying to change and see how things go and grow. So if you like it better this way, let us know. And tune in next week, and we'll have another joke for you. Remember, you are chosen, called, and loved by God. Peace out.